gay and mess some sharp turns, but I turn it and I chip it. So what? I might have some heavy days. Yo, what's up guys, it is Josh back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the best glow effect that you can use in your Fortnite montages. Okay, before the video starts, I just want to say that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub. It has been a goal of mine to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so make sure to help me get closer to that goal by dropping a sub. Be sure to also drop a like and comment, giving me some feedback down below on what you want to see on the channel in the future in terms of tutorials, content, all that stuff, just general feedback on how you thought the video was. And I also want to say I am going to be releasing my ident template on my twitter once we hit 10,000 followers on that so make sure to go check that out that will be the first link in the description i'll put the ident up on the screen just so you can see which one i'm talking about you've probably seen it if you watch my highlight videos but make sure to drop a follow on that if you want to actually get access to that ident template and in today's video i'm going to be going over how you can actually add the best glow effect going over the settings on how you can actually create the glow effect i'll also have the presets down below in the description for you guys to access as well as the links to the plugins that you'll need which are the universe plugins for this glow effect. I'm going to be showcasing this effect on both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects, so make sure to download either of those if you want to follow along with the tutorial. I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, so I am inside of DaVinci Resolve. As always, what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that our project settings are the way that we want them to be. So 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. You can just back out of that once you've actually done that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to import our clips and our song into the media pool, so I'll see you once I've actually done that all right so i've actually just dragged them into the top left right here and if you want access to these clips they are in my edit pack so make sure to pick that up if you'd like uh, to actually use those so we're just going to trim our clip down to the portion we want to use and i'm just going to lower the volume just a tiny bit because it is a bit loud at the very end because uh mojo does scream who is the pro player in this clip all right and i just dragged in my song right here it's so what by Rarin. it's one of his brand new songs uh but we're just going to find the main beat that we want to use. So I'm just going to use this one right here. I'm going to add a marker to it. And then I'm just going to also find where I get the kill right here. And honestly, somewhere right here should be fine because we see the numbers above the head and the elimination text is just showing up. So we're just going to line these two up right here. Drag this out on the right side. Maybe drag it down on the right as well. And then we're just going to cut off the audio uh, just because we aren't using the rest of this. And we're just going to save our project. Use control S always to save your project. Please, please, please. Uh, you don't want to end up having DaVinci Resolve crash and you lose progress. It's one of the worst things that can happen to you when you're editing. But the next thing we want to do is actually add velocity to our clip. So we're just going to right click on this, unlink it, right click, read time controls, add a speed point right here by clicking on the black triangle and add another one and then add one directly between. And then change this to 50%, change this one to 200%, and change this one to 50%. And that just adds a nice little velocity. And we're just going to drag that over to the right and overlap it just a tiny bit, just like this. And if you are finding this a bit too complicated to learn velocity, I have tutorials on that. So I'll link a tutorial playlist down below in the descriptions with all of my tutorials that you guys can check out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like just with the velocity on it. But yeah, it's just a nice little slow down velocity. And if you want it to be a lot smoother, a cool thing about DaVinci Resolve, it has a built-in frame blending feature. So you can just click on the clip, go to the read time process, change it to optical flow. And that just makes it a nice smooth 60 FPS uh, slow down, what's it called, uh, velocity. But yeah, all we got to do now to actually add our pink glow effect, which is why you guys are here, is just drag in an adjustment clip starting from the kill to the end of the clip. We're going to select it and go into the fusion tab. And what we're going to do is just find the... Uh, the preset we're going to be using for this so the god pink glow which i will have in the description you will need the universe plugins for it so make sure to download those and once we actually just drag it in you just press shift on your keyboard drag it in connect it to these lines right here i'm gonna get rid of the keyframe menu and all that's left to do pretty much is you just gotta go down to the bottom to blend where original is or blend with original sorry uh keyframe that at 100 at the beginning and go to the very end and keyframe it at zero and what you can do is you can just find some other impacts uh presets you can just go find some random ones so for me i'm gonna go to where i have all my davinci presets and i'm gonna you know change it to just drag in one of my hard impact one and all of these are in my edit packs if you want to pick up like a shake impact setting uh, i have one for free that you guys can use in uh, my previous video that i uploaded on saturday so make sure to check that out uh, i'll have that in the description possibly but then just connect all these right here and just like that you have a full impact with the shake and the super cool pink glow effect 
that I just showed you kind of how to do. I'll quickly go over the settings that, that way in case the preset doesn't work for you. You want to just copy them. We have the threshold set to 38.3, intensity 1.1, glow radius 17. Uh, radius X is 1, radius Y is 2.8, glow gamma is 1. And then all this is normal. These two colors right here, I'll show you the color code for that if you want to copy that. The color code for this one is that. And then the color strength is set to 62. All this is default. And then lastly, the mask is set to ellipse. Uh, the position X and Y is just default. Width is set to 1400. Height is set to 1030. Angle is set to 90. Feather size is 73. And then obviously the blend with original is set to 100 at the beginning. Zero at the end. That way it just does a nice little fade out. And yeah, these shake. I'll just put this shake setting down below in the description. It's just like a blank, or like not not a blank, but a bare impact that you can actually add to anything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be that. All you got to do from there is maybe just add a nice little build up. Uh, you can fade the audio in and out, add your ident, that kind of stuff. But if you guys want to see more in depth tutorials on specific effects, make sure to drop them down below in the description. That's something I'm definitely considering doing. Versus showing how to do a highlights video in general, I want to start doing specific effects videos where it's like the ripple shockwave effect which is going to be dropping the day after this video or something other than you know just a generalized video where i'm maybe showing you know like a built up y shake or something like that that you guys are requesting in the comments so if you guys have a specific effect you want to actually learn leave that down below in the comments and i might get to it uh there's going to be a lot of people actually linking them down below or letting me know what they want me to cover so obviously i'm not going to get around to all of them immediately so just leave me down below a comment a suggestion what you want to see in a tutorial but I'm going to be moving on to the After Effects portion. All the stuff you'll need for this DaVinci Resolve portion will be down below in the description if you want to follow along with that. With the presets, the plugins, all that stuff in the description. Even a tutorial on how to install the plugins, I'll link that down below in the description as well. I hope you guys enjoy this part and I'll see you guys in After Effects. Alright guys, so I am in a brand new After Effects project, 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. As usual, the first thing you want to do is just import all your songs into the actual media pool right here. So I'll see you guys once I've done that, just dragging them from my file explorer into the media pool. Alright, so I've actually just added them in the top left right here. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to drag in our song press l on our keyboard twice what that'll do that'll bring up our wavelengths and then we're just going to find the part of the song that we want to use i'm going to be using the song uh, so what by Rarin. all right and the beat that we want to use is just right here so we're just going to press n on our keyboard actually to add a marker or what you can do if you want to go the long way you can just go up to here to uh, layer marker add marker while having it selected i just have a keyboard shortcut set to end for my marker so you can just uh, do that if you'd like to through this you can go to keyboard shortcuts change the shortcuts just like that but uh yeah all you got to do is just do that drag it down right here maybe shorten the beginning a tiny bit just because it, we don't want it long and drawn out and then we're just going to trim our audio down on the right side by pressing Control shift d once having this the layer selected and I'm just going to quickly turn my After Effects volume just down a tiny bit. And all we got to do here is we're just going to get our clip right here. We're going to select the beginning by highlighting this little, I don't know what it's called, but just this little dash thing on the left. And then this dash thing after the kill on the right. And we're just going to drag that in just like this. Perfect. Just drag it out on the left. Drag it out on the right. And what we got to do now is add our velocity. I'll have a free velocity preset in the description, but I'll also have uh, my edit pack linked in the description, which has 10 times better velocity presets. So just add the Joshi Vela new, which one, which I'll have in the description for you guys to use. We're going to line up the second last keyframe with the kill, disable frame blending. And what that'll do, it's just a nice little velocity there. And I'm honestly going to turn the clip volume down just a tiny bit because uh, <laughs> Mojo does scream in this and all these clips are in my edit pack as well and then we're just going to add an adjustment layer by pressing Control alt y on our keyboard having this layer selected so it goes above it and then just press Control shift d on either side to actually cut it down and then we're going to select the layer go to apply animation preset and we're going to navigate to where we have the things the uh the preset saved to for the god pink glow and what that'll do is it'll add it and we're just going to adjust the keyframe so it just goes to the very end. You, to just bring up this menu to see the keyframes, just press the U on your keyboard. That'll show all the keyframes that are actually there. And just like that, we have the pink glow. Uh, it's nothing insanely crazy. I'll quickly show you the settings. It's just uh, the threshold set to 38.3, intensity 1.1. Glow radius is 17. Radius uh, X is 2.8. Radius Y is uh, 1. And then glow gamma is 0.64. Mask is set to this. Uh, lips. 
uh, with this set to 1400 1030 for the height angle 90 just normal feather size 73 and then blend with originals what we keyframe 100 at the beginning zero at the end and all that's left to do now is just add kind of like a bare bones impact which is what i call it which is pretty much just the shake i guess and all the other stuff that comes along with it so i'll just add my bare bones impact preset just like this i'll have this in the description which is just it's honestly just a flicker and two shakes and once you add it to the glow it looks super clean but yeah it's super clean i definitely recommend using this glow for your montage this is almost similar to the yarn glow that yarn always uses in his highlight videos but uh yeah all you gotta do from there is maybe add like a nice little build up a nice little pre-shake with the vignettes you know a monochrome if you want and uh yeah that's pretty much how you do that i'll have all those presets to the build ups and all that stuff that is in my edit pack so link in the description for that make sure to pick that up that's pretty much how to do the glow and like i was saying in the da vinci portion if you guys want to see more specific effect tutorials make sure to leave me down below some ideas in the comments because i'm going to be picking a couple of them to do over the next couple weeks uh, so yeah, make sure to do that. I hope you guys did enjoy this portion. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the ident template giveaway at 10k. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.